we can add parameters directly to our project database that enable us to track lifecycle data and use this data to compute values such as the date when this component will need to be replaced. While it's very useful to be able to enter and update this information within the Revit environment, there are times when we'd like to share that data with other users and enable them to use and update those values in their own systems for asset management and maintenance tracking. Let's take a look at how we can export the data in a Revit project model to another format, for example, a Microsoft Access database. Let's look at how we can update the values for the doors that need to be replaced in 2012, marks 5, 6, and 7, by exporting the project database to Microsoft Access and updating those values there. We'll start by switching back to a 3D view of the project. Then we'll go to the Add-ins tab and choose from the External Tools pop-down the Revit DB Link add-in, then switch to the MS Access 2007 tab. We could export to older versions of MS Access or other ODBC, that's Open Database Connectivity Formats, but for now we'll use MS Access 2007. Let's select a new connection, click Export, then give a name for the Access Database that we're going to create. Let's call this the Revit Project Database Export, then click Save. And wait just a few moments as all of the project data in the Revit database is exported to the Microsoft Access format. When the export is complete, the Link Revit Model dialog closes and we can return to working our project model in Revit. Let's instead switch to Microsoft Access and look at how we can edit the parameter values for those doors directly in the database environment. Let's open the exported database file in Microsoft Access. We'll click the Open button. And when the database opens, you'll see that many tables have been created representing all the different elements in the project database, as well as all the different types of elements. So for example, you'll see we have both the door elements themselves, as well as the door types appearing in separate tables. Let's open the Doors table to look at those door elements that we want to update. The table includes a row for each of the door elements in our project and columns for each of the fields and parameters that describe the doors, including the new shared parameters that we've added to track life cycle and replacement information. Near the top of this list, we'll find the rows for the doors with marks 5, 6, and 7. Those were the doors that needed to be replaced soon, so let's change the installation year values for those doors as though they had just been replaced. We can click in the field, enter the new value, say 2011, for each of those different doors. And our updates in Microsoft Access are complete. We're now ready to bring this updated data back from Microsoft Access and use it to update the parameter values in our Revit project database. Let's see how that's done. Having updated the values that describe our building elements in Microsoft Access or another external data system, we're now ready to re-import those values and update our Revit project database. To do that, We'll open the External Tools pull-down on the Add-ins tab and open the Revit DB Link tool. We'll choose the connecting link that was used to create the external database and this time choose Edit and Import. The external database will be imported into Revit and Revit will analyze the imported data to determine which values have been changed. Let's scroll down in the list of tables and choose the Doors table You'll see that all of the door elements are listed in this view. If we scroll to the right and take a look at the values for the installation year, you'll see that the doors with marks 5, 6, and 7 have been updated with the new installation year values of 2011. We can also go through and make changes in this view. For example, we could change that to 2012, 
to override a value, but we'll leave it set as 2011 and say OK. We'll import those changes into the project model. Revit opens a report to highlight which data values have been changed. You can see that the doors table has been changed. And if we scroll to the right in this report, and you'll see that in blue, it's highlighting the data values that have been successfully updated. Let's close that report. We can open the door schedule and take a look at those values there. And once again, you'll see that for doors 5, 6, and 7, the installation year values have been updated to 2011, and the replacement year has also been updated using the calculated value which adds the life cycle years to the installation year to get the new value. You'll also see that the conditional formatting on these rows has been removed because these doors have been taken care of and they no longer need our attention.